All right, hey YouTube, Doom Miss Alistair here, back with another video. Um, this one is gonna be a, pi it's a pile of green light that I have here. I have a 20, yeah, 29 cars sitting here to uh, open up. And we'll just uh, kind of power through them, see how long this video goes, if I might end up splitting it. We'll see, we'll see where I'm at. <laughs> I also got my clothes washer going, so you might hear that in the background. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so first up, we have this uh, new um, hobby exclusive series. Uh, let's keep on van and set. Uh, we have the 76 uh, Chevy G20 and the 78 GMC uh, Vandura. There was a third. There is a third van. I think it's a, it's a Dodge Tradesman. I don't care for the casting itself from Greenlight, and I didn't like care for the deco at all on it, so I didn't bother picking that one up. But the Vandura, I love the Vandura casting, so I had to get this one. And it's got the just cool, you know, surf mural on it. And then uh, the Chevy, just kind of, you know, typical boogie van like style. So I already, I picked that one up too. So go ahead and open up the Vandura. My angles here are also kind of funky, so turn that. There we go. That's a little better. Get the GMC out of here. There. That's back in there, and we'll go ahead and open up the Chevy at the same time. garbage those go and look we'll at the G20 real quick kind of your typical uh maybe not so typical but definitely 70s vibe on the deco here <laughs> so peace loves uh, what do we got on there what's that say have a nice day on the on that one I have no idea what that bumper sticker says on the bumper there. The yellow, the yellow text here on the far right. No idea what it says. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's the Chevy G20, and then the Vandura, which is the one I actually, I really wanted. This one looks cool. So for those that don't realize, this is basically the uh, A-Team van. Uh, the casting that Greenlight did for that, and then they've done a bunch of different, uh, they've done a few different customs using the, uh, casting. So, yeah. Pretty cool deco on the side there, the surf, uh, mural, so. And if you hear that, 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 that's just the outlet hose going into the, uh, sink. <laughs> All right, next up, going back a ways, we got the custom 65 Dodge Coronet 426. I have the normal version of this one in black. I opened that up a while ago. These were from back 2007. This is what? Muscar uh, Garage, I'm not sure which. Oh, right there, Series 3. <laughs> And oddly enough, for the 65 Coronet, that black one and this one are the only times it's been released with this style roof. A little tidbit in case you didn't know that. One second here. That's so when I can pull the card. The rest of this can go in the trash. Alright. So yeah, I already yeah, so I already have the stock version. This is the custom. It's actually the only time I think they've used the uh that hood too. So yeah. Cool to have the other one that I got now, so I now have the pair. The black one is cinched though. The black one looks awesome. 
All right, next up, we got California Lowrider Series 4. This is the 85 Impala. I did the case unboxing several videos back. Did not pull Green Machine out of there. But I, this is the only one that I really want. I was hoping to get a green machine of. I ended up finding it for a decent price, so I went ahead and picked it up. And the only reason I wanted it is because the main paint was green and the green machine wheels look uh, looks good to me. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, washes in a spin cycle. Hopefully, you don't really hear it too bad. <laughs> so, yeah. One of my favorite green light castings and just nostalgia for me more than anything. Yeah, for the for being the green machine with the green wheels and all like that. Because the regular one, obviously, unpainted base and the wheels are gold on the normal one. But had to get the one with the matching greens it's almost the same green it's like it's not the exact same green but it's close enough that i think it looks on i think it looks really cool as the green machine and i know in the next uh little rider series 5 there's a one of the 70s cadillacs i can't remember exactly what one it is the same thing it's got the same it's the same color same color green so i'm gonna hopefully be able to get the green machine of that one eventually too can I get the tag on the wheel here? Maybe. There we go. And the reason for the tag, it just helps me keep it straight for when I got all the chases and stuff like that. I did it with the, uh, like, Auto World Ultra Reds I did this with. Just keep... It's a little easier with these to know what release it is and stuff, but... Yeah. And it's made it just easier having the tag on it. All right, next up, another fairly old one, Hot Pursuit Series 15. We got the U.S. Border Patrol 89 Firebird. I can't remember where I got I think I got this off Whatnot. Yeah, I got this off Whatnot. I need... Excuse me, I was the only one that bothered bidding on it. I think he, had, he threw 10 bucks on it, and that's what I grabbed it for. Not too bad, considering how popular this A's Firebird is. So there is the Firebird. So let's see. Yeah, this one. So we'll have a bit of a lean. Yeah, we can see it here. This casting is known for a lean issue like that. The back. The back is fine, but you can tell from the front it's a little, uh, little cockeyed there. Fortunately, I don't know if I can. It won't let me. Yeah. I'm trying to. Yeah, that ain't gonna budge. So that kind of stinks. That's one of those. It's one of those things you kind of have to. Kind of end up just having a. Eat it or whatever with this uh, casting. It's. it's like I said, the lean like that, it's very common. So, I mean, it sucks, but it's still a good looking car. Alright, next up, we got just a hot, uh, hobby exclusive from the Flame Series 57 Belvedere. And that is probably really loud. <laughs> I gotta see if I can adjust that outlet hose. Alright. So there is the Belvedere. And I actually have a couple of this one because I don't know if I showed, if you watched my Instagram, you saw that I kind of did this uh, quick dually custom that I do, uh, I plan on using the actual base from the 
the 80s Dodge Ram dually and trimming it up to make it fit under one of these. But for now, I did that as kind of an experimental one, but yeah, not, nothing too much about this one. Just I like the, I always like this body of the big Plymouth, and then uh, just it's white with flames. It looks cool to me. <laughs> All right, next up, going back a while, a while again, we got Country Rose. These were from 13s. These are 10 years old. Series 10 using 67 Impella Sports Sedan. Then I'll cut open. Car out of here. Hey, it's been like a slowing down, hopefully. So there. I like how this one's got like the brown paint there, kind of like to represent rust. It's kind of a neat uh neat little detail. Oh I did around the window too. I never noticed that before. I didn't notice that on other ones. That's cool. Yeah, it's even got a chip on the front there, which for this release is actually kind of a uh, fitting. <laughs> this is meant to be a rough, uh, a rough uh, kind of like daily driver. It's not meant to be mint. So I love this casting between this and the '68 Pal. I had to, so I had to get this one. I do want this is like one of those few uh, green light castings I do want to kind of complete. We'll see if I ever actually get there, but yeah. Another one I had to pick up. I like it. <laughs> Alright, next up, more hobby exclusives of the 1990 Chevy Caprice New York State Police. Had to get this one. As I do live in New York. There, the Caprice. Let's see, what's the base on this one? Click, 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 click. <laughs> All right, it's the stock ride on these. All right, so it's the night 2019 copyright. So yeah. All right. Anyway. Yeah, state trooper car, and it's the 80s Caprice. I had to get it. <laughs> absolutely had to get it that might be another casting I try to go after every one of them alright next up we got the 1987 Ford LTD Crown Vic uh, with a man in suit from Hobby Shop Series 10 and this is kind of a neat one of those uh I would say it's definitely a uh, hidden Hollywood car. It's definitely, uh, you know, Men in Black vibes from the first movie. <laughs> that popped the little guy out of here. Actually, I might cut that blister. So we'll see. Hey, washer's done, so we're good. All right, so go ahead and look the guy. Definitely men in black. <laughs> and then we got our Ford LTD. And even if it didn't have like this uh, kind of men in black vibe with it, I love. I just oh, I have always loved these LTD, the crown the full size four the crown vic all that always love this car for whatever reason and no family connection to one whatsoever unlike the uh caprice and impala but this one i just i just love the look of this <laughs> i actually have i actually have a couple of these because i want to do uh throw some different wheels on one <laughs> love that one all right, where are we at? 14 minutes, we're good. All right, go with the pile over here. Next up, we got from 2024, Las Vegas Super Convention, 92 Mustang, the drag car. Ooh. 
Oops. Let's see with the card. And there is our Fox by a drag car. Blacked out lights, both front and rear. There's our fuel injected 5 0 under there. And yeah. Not much else to say about this, just another Fox body Mustang I've mentioned before. My dad owns a 85 GT. I love always love the Fox body Mustang, so another one. Because there's, like, there's a freaking shitload of them, but I will do what I can try to get every one of them that they have released. So just another one to mark off the list. All right, next up, I have all three of these hobby exclusive from this year, copyright 2023, but they, they think these came out calendar 2024. Uh, 25 years of promoting respect. Possible driving a blue line racing since 1997. So first up, we got the 08 Dodge Challenger SRT8. Oh, so we can just look at that real quick. I'm not going to bother reading it like I do with a lot of our world. If you want to read it, pause it. <laughs> so here we got our. Challenger drag car. This kind of opening hood does. I actually don't remember if I have. I don't think I have a uh, another release of this casting. This might end. Uh, this might indeed be my. Oh no, wait, no, I got a couple. I think I got a couple. Yeah, so I got that Hurst one, and that might be the only one. I think I got that white Hurst one I did on one like 10 videos ago or something like that <laughs> yeah one thing i don't like is that the the drag wheels that they do for the fronts they're so tiny i wish they would do ones like you know same width like this but you know a little, little bigger just to fill out the wheel well a little better and i might not be accurate to how the real cars are when it comes to when they're set up as a drag car like this but i just think it would look better from that standpoint so yeah. so that's the challenger next up we got the 09 mustang i assume it's all gonna say yeah it's gonna be all the same i know these three i picked up from maze i picked up that bandura from maze i picked up what else Couple cars coming up I picked up from Maze. A few others were online hobby exclusives. So, yeah. Alright, so here we go. The 09 Mustang. Let's see if the hood closes better on this one. Yay, it could have closed on this one. It doesn't close on my trilingual one. <laughs> Oh wow, that's a really squared off tire. Why are we doing that? I need to... What the hell needs to be trimmed? The wheel or the tire? No, the wheel's fine, so the tire. The tire needs to trim. We can do that real quick. So you can see, right, right there. A little extra bit of rubber there. Kind of cut that out here real quick. Do it under the light. Can't do it through the camera. Ow. Let's do it this way. Let's 
So that's one of the things about not even just green light. It happens with Johnny Lightning. I've seen it happen with some M2, even Auto World at times. You get this from the injection points. They don't get trimmed up quite well enough. So then they get they kind of square off when they're in the in the car on the wheels. Usually it's a pretty easy fix. Just trim it up and they will reshape it out over time. Get them all. Oh, there too. I think. There we go. Yeah, I think we're good. We'll get this one here. that bit of the tire since it's not lettered put that to the inside and we are all good <laughs> that's right there's that, that table's uneven right there all right and lastly for uh, blue line racing we got the 93 mustang Drop my knife. All right, and there is the Mustang. Five O, both for the engine and cops. <laughs> So, like I said before, just another Fox body to knock off the list. <laughs> All right, next up, probably one of my most anticipated releases this year from Hollywood Line, the Crow 73 Ford Thunderbird. I have been looking forward to this one basically since it was uh, since they announced it, and I have a feeling. I've actually already picked up a few of these. Uh, I have plans for a few of them. So don't mind me, I know I'm being quiet. Damn, I, I love this freaking car. <laughs> They did an awesome job on this casting. Yep, this is easily making my year end list. Yeah, this is easily gonna make my year end top ten list. God, just look at that. Look at that. That's freaking gorgeous. <laughs> I love this damn car. They did an awesome job on this thing, man. And yeah, we know T-Bird was the was one of the assholes in the movie, but a little trimming on the plastic here. Nothing big. This thing is awesome. I absolutely love this car. It turned out, it definitely turned out great. At least I think it did. Yeah, this is, this 
This is gonna be my favorite one of the of the video. <laughs> that is for damn certain. Oh man, I love this car. So happy they did this. And that that this was the first release of using the casting is just makes it that much better. God, I love it. Yeah, this thing is up. That's that is the highlight of this video. <laughs> All right, next up, we got from the same Hollywood mix, we got the True Romance 74 Caddy Eldorado. I've never even seen the movie. So, I don't know. And the artwork here, it's definitely more pink, whereas it's more hot, pinkish purple paint so I don't know what's more accurate if it's actually that pink or if it's supposed to be that color I really don't know don't ask me never saw the movie that's a big old 70s caddy I had to get it and I think this is the debut of this casting I know we're getting one in the Lowrider set. I think in the, in the next Lowrider set, convertible, convertible plastic top, so I assume they will have a hard top one as well. Gotta love the leopard print on the dashboard there. <laughs> yeah. Good looking car. Honestly, if it wasn't for the uh, T Bird's T Bird there from the Crow. You know, I, I don't, I'm not usually the biggest fan of these freaking boats, but something about Greenlight and Auto World has made me appreciate these cars a little more lately. <laughs> and this thing, this one looks pretty cool. I'm curious to see how the Lowrider one works, because this one already seems like it's going to, you know, nah, there's room to, there's room to go lower. There's actually, there's one of the, these in that mix too, coming up. All right, we're only going to do four more. I'll, save these ones for the next video but uh next up from acme trading company we got it's basically it's green light i'm not sure what the whole deal with uh what acme diecast really is because like they, they do like 164 they use a lot of green light toolings for uh 118s i think they use mostly gmps so I'm not really sure exactly what their deal is. Anyway, we got Parnelli Jones, Big Ollie, a Big Ollie, yeah, Big Ollie, um, Bronco. Actually, another one. I kind of hope I, I would. I'm gonna try to get the chase at some point. We'll see what happens though. We'll go ahead and get this one open. I have opened a, f I have opened a few of these uh, Acme cars before. Um, yeah, like the Stacy David, uh, the Copperhead truck. I had the regular and the chase of that one. Yeah. Here's the Big Alley Bronco. And with the Bronco casting, it's another one I actually do really like this casting. And I'm going to probably go after all of the uh, lifted ones like this one. Um, like the stock ride ones, I'm not going to bother with. But like any of these lifted ones, I'll probably definitely try to get. Yeah, awesome looking truck. And next up, we got Smoky Unix uh, 63 Impala that John Rutherford drove at the Daytona 563. Smokey's best damn garage in town. This is another Acme Trading Company release. And being a Smokey Unic, I had to get it. And they've done a few of the, uh, they've done a few Smokey Unic uh, releases, so I will be getting those other ones eventually. There's a, basically I think it was uh, the two, it was like car and hauler set. One's a, Camaro and Holler, the other's a Mustang and Holler. So there it is. Why is that interesting? 
The hood doesn't really sit straight. At first I thought the base was on crooked, but no, it's just the, the, bait, the hood doesn't quite sit down all the way. Hey, I might grab another one. Which is alright. Plenty of these online, so it won't be too hard to grab another one. That's the first I've seen that problem with this uh, 63 Impala, at least with the ones I've had. I don't have, all, I don't have a lot of them. I think I honestly only had the lowrider ones. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, for those that don't know, some, I think I, I mentioned in a prior video the uh, hot, with the last Hot Wheels one I did. Uh, Smokey Eunuch was a legendary crew chief car builder for NASCAR. And uh, let's just say the rule book probably tripled in size because of him. <laughs> Definitely a cool car. All right. Yeah. Lastly, we'll do these two uh, new kind of series from Greenlight Stampede. Since so mostly it's just all Mustangs. Uh, so first up, we got eh, yeah. We'll just do this one. Screw it. Night two Mustang LX, the notchback. I remember when the preview pictures for this one popped up. Greenlight needs to do a better job of their preview prototypes because sometimes they just don't, they look like crap. Okay, good. A little stuff on the roof here. It's just stuff, though. But here is Teal Notchback. This just looks really good. Very simple, but very cool release of this casting, especially with the five five lug conversion. <laughs> All right, and lastly, we got the 1980 uh, Mustang Cobra, and I think this was actually a last minute swap in. And I think they had they had planned on using a different casting, but ended up going with this one for whatever reason and swap out the one and there is the 80 cobra i always loved this freaking cobra deck this cobra decal on the hoods and i i gotta get all the ones i have together and make sure i have them all for the green for the all the green light releases i think i might be missing one Always love that decal. Yeah. And, as I mentioned before, just another Fox body. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will get to that pile in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And we will see you next time. Gotta love that T-Bird. <laughs> Have a good one.